In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to work the child checkmate system on your bus, as well as how to put it into charter mode. And currently we are in charter mode, but we're going to get to that later. Right now, let's go ahead and arm the system. So, first things first, you turn on the ignition. And then, to manually arm it, you come over here, activate your warning lights. You can see them flashing in the cross views. And then open your door, which turns on the reds. Child checkmate is now activated. So when you hear two chimes as well as a voice prompt that says child checkmate is now activated, that means you have activated it manually. Now it automatically activates itself when you have the ignition on for any more than five minutes. So five minutes from when you first turn on the ignition, you'll hear one chime and no voice prompt. That means the child checkmate has automatically been activated. So now if you turn it off, you will hear beeping and if you turn the ignition back on you will hear a prompt that says please conduct your child search now however if you're standing in front of the motion sensor and the light is lit up on it it will not say that prompt but you will still be able to deactivate the system Please conduct your child search now. And then the horns start going off if you don't take action in time. So now, at this point, you will check the seats in and under them for any sleeping students, as well as missing articles. And then, you come back here and press this red button. Hold for about a second. Child checkmate is now deactivated. And then you'll hear beeping as well as an audible confirmation that the child checkmate system has been deactivated. At this point, you can remove the key and exit the bus. However, if you stay on the bus for more than a minute after you've turned off the ignition without engaging charter mode, the motion sensor will register that a uh, student is still on the bus, or that's at least what it thinks, and then it will start it will start honking the horn and it will say please sit down someone will be with your sh uh, someone will be here shortly so if you don't want that to happen that's where charter mode comes in turn the ignition back on go back to the back of the bus and then hit the button a second time charter mode has been activated Charter mode has been activated. So at this point, charter mode has been activated, and for three and a half hours, the motion sensor will not register any input. Now the light will still light up, but it ignores any motion that it would otherwise send signals to the system to indicate that someone is on the bus, whether it be a student left behind or an intruder, which is why it will say, leave vehicle now, authorities notified. Say for instance, you just got on the bus for your morning or afternoon shift. Another side note is if you turn the ignition back on while it's in, char uh, while it's in charter mode, it will automatically take it out of charter mode. So now it's out of charter mode. And that means once again, if the motion sensor detects motion, it will start sounding the horn. So that means if you turned on the ignition, whether it be by accident or if you needed to turn something on momentarily, you just got to go back and press the button again to go back into charter mode. Speaking of which, that also means, say for instance you first get on the bus, you turn on the key and then you go back and hit this button, that'll go straight to charter mode. Charter mode activated and the reason for that is because the child checkmate system was never activated in this state 
Charter mode has been activated. But I hope you found this informative and it helps you understand how to activate the child checkmate, how to deactivate it, as well as how to put it into charter mode. And I hope you have a nice day.